totally didn't even put my hair down. That's annoying. Hey friends, it's Jesse. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a new product video. Today we are reviewing and using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Pink Religion Collection. I am so, so excited to try out these products today. And if you are just as excited, then keep on watching. Hello friends. Sorry if I sound like a dying frog. It's literally so smoky out, but I really wanted to get this video filmed. So as you saw by the intro, we are doing the Jeffree Star Pink Religion collection review look type thing today. I do have quite a few pieces from the collection. Uh, I tried to stick to the basics and the things that stuck out to me. So, of course, we have first up the Sacred Glass. This is the Extreme Frost Trio. Look at this packaging. It's like so beautiful. Anyway, it's like this kind of like faux leather type situation. And then the shades are just stunning. I am so, so excited about this. I've only had one extreme frost uh, in my life prior to this, so I'm super excited about this. I also got the Pink Religion palette, of course. Here is what she looks like. I really like the unicarton thing on this because it's just so, like, not bulky compared to some of the other uh, packaging he does. Um, but this is the palette. It's supposed to resemble a Bible. It's pink. I, pink's my favorite color. So of course, when I saw this collection, I was like, yes, I have to. Then you open it up and this is what she looks like. Sorry if you can see yourself. This is what she looks like. All pink and purple and beautiful. I am so, so excited about these shades. So this will be a lot of fun to play with. And then of course I picked up two lippies. These are the Velvet Trap lipsticks. I picked up two shades. Um, I've never tried these, uh, but this one is in the shade Always Faithful, which is this kind of like purpley shade. Let me swatch it. Yeah, so it's kind of like a purple shade. I really like purple lipstick, and I think especially for fall, it'll be great. And then the other shade I picked up is in the shade Pink Religion. So I haven't tried this formula from him before, but I am super excited about these. So that will be a lot of fun. And then the packaging on this is just kind of that like pink vinyl. So anyway, so of course we're going to start off with some eye looks. I've already done my base. I used my Anastasia Luminous Foundation as well as my MAC Concealer. And then I just did some messy brows with my MAC Brow Pen. Um, but starting out with the palette. I really like this shade here, Jeffrey's World. I think that's like a pinky purple shade. I'm really into that shade. Um, but I also really like some of these corals. You know what? No. I know what I want to do. I think I wanted to use some of these coral shades and then maybe one of the shimmers. I think that's what I want to do. Normally I prime my eyes with the Fenty Eye Primer, but today I just took a little bit of my concealer on my lid, just going for basic and easy. Um, and first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to hop into the shade Prom Night right here. This palette is so like awkward to hold. So let me find my mirror. Okay. Got my Jeffree Star mirror to go with the Jeffree Star video. I'm just going to take some of that shade on my brush and I'm going to start in the outer corner and just kind of pat it above my crease because this is going to be my first transition shade. I'm taking that all the way up into the brow bone. I like to smoke out my shadow a lot because my eyes are super small. So I like to kind of exaggerate my eye shape and I use all the real estate I can get. Um, okay, next I'm gonna take a Morphe M456. This is kind of more of a flat blending taper brush. Uh, and I think the next shade I wanna go into is Strawberry Youth, which is this top coral shade. Also, I just realized this will not match either of the lipsticks I got. Um, let me see what I have down. Okay, scratch that. I really want to try this coral shade, but I don't think it's going to go with the lipsticks I got. So instead, I'm going to go into Dollhouse Lane at the bottom here. This is kind of a magenta-y purple shade. I'm going to go ahead and pack some of that onto my brush and then... This is going to also go in my crease a little bit above where my actual crease is. Because like I said, I like to dramatize my eyelids a little bit. So we're going to kind of fake bigger eyes. 
I was so excited when I saw he was coming out with an all pink palette because pink eyeshadow is one of my favorites to do on myself. I just like to live Barbie dreams. Um, I love pink. Pink is my favorite color. My makeup room, you can't see it from this side, but that side is all pink and white and beautiful. Let's see, oh, you know what? I wanna take a little bit of this shade up here, Saint Star, which is kind of this like baby pink rose gold-esque shade. Um, it's kind of a satin shade. I'm gonna just take that on to a just random makeup brush and I'm going to kind of highlight underneath my brow with that. I feel like that's a pretty highlighty shade. I think I want to go into Beauty Killer, which is this cranberry shade, and then right in the outer portion, go in with Handbag Queen is the vibe I think I want to go. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start with that. Starting with Beauty Killer on this E17. Oh my gosh, I'm shaking so bad today. Too much energy, not enough places to get rid of my energy. This shade seems a lot like that Dollhouse Lane shade, maybe a little bit more red instead of purple. So it's kind of just making it this nice, rich pink color. I mean, I'm not mad about it. It's still cute. It's just not what I was expecting. I know I want to do some sort of cut crease. So before I do too much more, I'm going to take my P. Louise primer. Uh, this is in the shade number one. I think this is the one right before white. I'm a little pasty, so normally I use round concealer brushes for this, but I cannot seem to find any. So I'm gonna use this uh, Morphe 410 brush. It's a square type concealer brush. I'm gonna just angle it and use the very corner to draw out my rounded shape and then it kind of blend it downwards. Does anyone watch The Bachelorette? I literally just watched the finale. I'm kind of glad Blake won, honestly. I really liked Blake. I thought they would have made a good pair, so I was super happy when they ended up together. I always like to take my primer or concealer a little bit higher than my crease when doing cut crease work, um, just because I feel like my eyes are not, like I said, they're not big. I have really tiny eyes. I have a tiny face. And I like to still be able to see some of that shape when I have my eyes open you can kind of see it's still a little rounded above that's kind of my trick to cheat bigger eyes I know a lot of people with hooded eyes do a similar trick if not the same can you see how bad I am shaking or is this like literally not noticeable see I always do this I always make one way too oval and like egg shaped almost and the other one always looks good. So I'm just gonna kind of try and clean that up a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect, whatever. It's gonna be covered anyway, so who, who really cares? I am going to take this flat Morphe brush. I'm really not sure what type it is. This was from a holiday set a couple years ago. And I'm going to dip into Handbag Clean, that deep cranberry shade at the bottom. And I'm going to just kind of outline over where I drew my cut crease just to give it a little more depth. I really wanted to get this video filmed because now that I'm slowly starting to get back into videos, there's so many things that I want to try. And I knew that if I did not get this video up, then I just wouldn't. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the pink look. I'm trying something a little bold today. My favorite shimmer brushes of all time are literally these Anastasia brushes. <laughs> these came in all of the like little ABH palettes. Uh, they're the duo sided, they have a blender brush and then a shimmer side and I love the shimmer side. So I'm just gonna spritz that with a little Fix Plus. I use this on all of my shimmer shadows. And I think I'm going to try Candy Cathedral, which is this middle shade. And then right in the inner part, I wanna use, what is this, Frosting Cult? frosting cult up at the top. I'm just kind of dragging this down. This shade in particular reminds me a lot of the shade uh, Trisha from the Conspiracy palette. But I did see, I believe it was Sarah Loves Makeup, did a bunch of dupe swatches and a lot of the shades in this Pink Religion palette compared to other Jeffree Star pinks were not exactly the same. 
a lot of these shades are pulling slightly different on the eyelid than they do in the pan because it could just be me maybe it picks up different on camera but this shade right here was the one i used on the lid and it seems more like magenta than it does in the pan next i'm going into frosting cult which was that lighter pink shimmer just on the same brush and i'm just going to blend it really lightly into the inner probably like third of my eye and you can use the same brush because you're going to blend it into the previous shade and i like to go back and forth when blending so now i'm going to put a little bit of that darker pink back on and you just kind of keep going back and forth until it looks how you want it now i'm just going to kind of go in and start blending the outer corner with the same shades that we used for the crease so that was what did we use in the crease that was dollhouse lane and beauty killer i'm going to take those out on my outer outer corner I'm about to make every Wednesday. It's the best. Literally the best part of palettes. I'm pretty impressed with this look. The eyeshadows themselves are blending great. So I, as I expected them to, I didn't expect them not to. Um, they look great. Hardly any fallout, which I'm very impressed with. So for the lower lash line, I think I want to, I haven't decided if I want to do something purple. Let's switch it up. Let's do something purple for the lower lash line. I have this brush from the Melt Beetlejuice collection. I'm not quite sure if this is a specific number, um, but for the lower lash line, I want to start with Pink Religion right here. Um, and then I think, did we use Jeffrey's World? If not, I think we're going to use some Jeffrey's World in the lower lash line as well. Just going to smoke that out on the bottom. I always like the idea of a super smoked out lower lash line, but I actually hate it on myself. As I've mentioned in previous videos, I have no air conditioning and it is so stupidly hot out right now, but I really want to wear this sweater because it's pink and it makes me think of this collection. not me struggling with my lashes for an actual 10 minutes just to have them look like crap. For lashes, I just put on a pair of ColourPop Shorty Lashes after lining with my NYX Black Gel Liner. I know they don't look good, okay? I know that these are probably the worst applied lashes ever, um, but we're just gonna go with it. For blush today, I'm gonna use my Pat McGrath uh, blush. I'm not sure what shade this is. Divine Blush in Flirtatious. I personally think this would have been the absolute perfect collection for Jeffrey to introduce blushes into his line, um, but alas, there was none. I'm just going to do kind of like a light veil of this blush. So now we have the Sacred Glass Extreme Frost Trio. Look at those gorgeous shades. This one, the Glass Slipper is calling my name. I think that's the one I want to try. This I think would be a really pretty blush topper. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and go in with Glass Slipper as an actual highlight and then I'm going to just kind of flush over my blush with Pink Purity. <gasps> Stop. Oh my goodness. Oh, yes. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It is so glittery. Okay, now I'm trying a little bit of pearly dates. I just cannot commit to a shade. Do I have to try all of them now? Okay, okay, I see you. That's pretty. I'm gonna try just a touch of pink purity. Look at that glow. Do you see that? Oh. I'm feeling it. I like it. I love it. That's great. Okay, now we're on to lipstick and of course just my luck. I do not seem to have any hot pink nor do I have purple lip liner. So, um, I'm just going to do executive decision. We're just going to not use lip liner today, but 
I think I want to try Always Faithful, which is this purple shade. I saw someone else wearing this and I loved it. So we're going to go ahead and try it. I had a teacher when I was in beauty school that wore this shade of lipstick like literally all the time and it looked so good on her. I like it. Is it a bit much for this look? I feel like an alien today. A little bit, but it's cute. It's cute. Here is the finished look. How do we feel about it? I think it's cute. I think I like it. I think it's great. Let's go ahead and talk about the products. First, I have the Pink Religion palette. Honestly, I love it. I think it's the quality is great. The shade selection, I feel like, could have been a little bit more diverse. There's definitely way more mattes than shimmers. We used every single shimmer today. There's only three shimmers in the palette. Um, the colors, I think, are great. I love pinks and purples, so I know that I'll get a ton of use out of this palette. Um, but I definitely can see how this wouldn't be everybody's cup of tea. Overall, I think it's great. I think the packaging is super cute and unique. Definitely something different from the trunks. So if you're a collector, highly recommend. If you're just an average everyday makeup wearer, maybe not so much. I'd give it a solid 8 out of 10 stars. The Sacred Glass Trio. I personally really like this. I don't think this middle shade is necessarily one that I'll reach for all that often. I don't care for a super shimmery blush, but I did try all three shades and I really liked Pearly Gates and then this one, the glass, oh, it's the glass slipper, not glass slipper, that makes a lot more sense. Um, I did like those two a lot. This one more for a really glowy natural sheen and this one for more of like a glittery over top the, the glowy sheen, if that makes sense. Overall, I think this is a great deal. It's a good bang for your buck. Um, you get three extreme frost shades and normally the normal size ones like over here cost just as much as this trio did. So you get three different shades for the price of one, which I thought was great. And this also has that really unique kind of embossed faux leather packaging too. So I liked this one a lot. This one I'd probably give around a six out of 10 stars. Um, I do really like the shades, but it's a trio, and if you're not using one of them, then it's only like two out of three shades. That's literally like 30% of the palette you're not using. So, really good quality, really liked it. You know what? I'll bump it up to seven out of ten stars. And last but not least, the Velvet Trap lipsticks. I actually really like this formula. It feels super lightweight. If you've tried the Powder Kiss formula from MAC, I find it very reminiscent of that formula. I tried the shade Always Faithful today, and I do think it's really cute. I'm kind of into it. Kind of purple. Fun for fall. I think it'll be fun. Packaging, super cute. It's that kind of like velvety touch. So I really liked these as well. Overall, I don't think there was a single dud out of all the products that I tried today. I'm pretty pleased with all of them and super excited to have them in my collection. That is all for today's video, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you never miss out on any of my new product videos. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye!